How to avoid the seven common mistakes of inexperienced managers and have fun while doing it. Becoming a leader for the first time is exciting, but it's also a daunting challenge. If you've already taken on this challenge, you know what we mean. According to a Stepstone study, 80% of those surveyed felt that leadership training was necessary in retrospect. Simply jumping into the new role may seem like the best approach, but sooner or later, things will go wrong. How to avoid the most common mistakes inexperienced managers make. 1. Starting without self-reflection. Just do it may be a good strategy in many aspects of your professional life, but when starting your first leadership role, it can quickly backfire. It's essential to take the time to reflect on yourself before starting. Think about the leaders you've had in the past, the values they've represented, what you want to do, and what you absolutely don't want to do. These thoughts will help you decide what's important to you when it comes to leading your team and how you want your employees to perceive you. Self-reflection is the first step. 2. Focusing only on operational issues. It is a well-established fact that effective communication is a crucial component of successful leadership. Leaders who take the time to build relationships and trust with their team members tend to have more engaged and motivated employees. Research has shown that employees who feel heard and valued by their leaders are more productive, committed to their work, and less likely to leave their jobs. Therefore, taking the time to have conversations with team members to understand their work and what they enjoy can lead to a more cohesive and productive team. Additionally, sharing values and expectations for collaboration can help establish a positive and productive work culture, which can lead to better outcomes for both the team and the organization. 3. Assuming everyone is like you. People have different motivations and preferences when it comes to their work environment and management style. As a leader, it's essential to recognize this and create a work environment that works best for the team. This includes understanding the team's preferences for communication channels, work style, and structure. Effective leaders prioritize creating a work environment that motivates and engages their team, which can lead to improved productivity and results. 4. Pretending to know everything. Research has shown that honesty and transparency are critical components of effective leadership. Admitting to a knowledge gap or a lack of experience as a leader can help build trust and credibility with your team. In fact, a study by Harvard Business Review found that employees are more likely to trust a leader who admits to not having all the answers. Being honest and authentic can also promote open communication and create a culture of psychological safety, where employees feel comfortable sharing their ideas and feedback. Conversely, pretending to know everything, when you don't, can create a culture of fear, mistrust, and disengagement among team members. Therefore, it's essential for leaders to be honest, vulnerable, and human to gain the trust and respect of their team. 5. Implementing changes too quickly. It is a common occurrence for a new leader to be appointed when management wants necessary changes within the organization. This is often because leaders are expected to have the skills and experience necessary to make a difference and achieve the desired outcomes. However, for these changes to be successful, it is crucial that the team is on board with the new direction. Turning everything upside down from day one can be disruptive, and it is often more effective to first understand why things were done a certain way in the past. Appreciating past efforts can make it easier to convince the team to start anew, and a collaborative approach to change management can help ensure success. 6. Neglecting to give feedback. Providing specific and frequent feedback to team members is essential to creating a culture of open communication and trust in the workplace. This type of feedback should focus on both positive feedback and constructive criticism, and should be given in a positive and encouraging tone. Leaders who prioritize frequent feedback, rather than waiting for formal performance reviews, can identify issues and provide guidance to team members in a timely manner, improving overall performance and results. Creating an environment where team members feel comfortable giving and receiving feedback is essential for growth and development, and helps to foster a sense of collaboration and shared responsibility. 7. Avoiding difficult conversations. Having conversations about performance, behavior, and expectations is a vital part of a leader's role. These conversations can be difficult, but avoiding them can lead to problems that won't go away. It's important to address these issues as soon as possible and prepare for the conversation by gathering specific examples and planning how to address the situation. Listening actively and being open to feedback is also important, as employees may have valuable insights to share. Research has shown that having regular, constructive feedback conversations can improve employee engagement and performance. So, there you have it, 7 common mistakes to avoid when starting your leadership journey. But don't take yourself too seriously. 
leadership can be fun and rewarding, and mistakes will happen. Embrace them, learn from them, and keep moving forward. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful financial tips and advice.